This is Made of News with your host, Miraida Pavón Robles de Jesús Rodríguez. Good morning, folks. I am Miraida Pavón Robles de Jesús Rodríguez para servirle a Dios y a usted. And this is News I Made Up. A local man trains squirrels to steal Wi-Fi passwords. In an unprecedented display of backyard ingenuity, Jasper Finch from Westfield, California, has successfully trained a group of squirrels to infiltrate his neighbor's homes and steal Wi-Fi passwords. I figured if they can crack open a nut, they can crack a code, said Finch. The squirrels, now equipped with tiny notepads and a suspicious amount of tech savvy, have become the bane of the neighborhood. The local internet provider is reportedly considering a new slogan. Squirrels got your password? Call us. And Seattle's governor has declared every Monday Pajama Day to boost morale. In a bold move to improve citywide morale, uh, the governor has declared that every Monday will now be Pajama Day. People hate Mondays, he stated at the press conference, so why not start the week in comfort? The policy has already led to an increase in footy pajama sales and a notable decline in dry cleaning. So it's like casual Fridays. I get it. So in our segment, new trend alert, people start bringing plants to restaurants as dinner dates. In a quirky twist on dining out, people are now bringing their favorite house plants to restaurants as dinner dates. Restaurants have started offering special companion plant seating and customized menus featuring fertilizer infused water. While some diners find it odd, others appreciate the greenery and the opportunity to nurture their photosyn photosynthetic friends over a meal. <laughs> Miss me with the blue water. <laughs> In an international news, France introduces a law requiring all conversations to include at least one compliment. In an effort to enhance national charm, France has passed a law mandating that every conversation must include at least one genuine compliment. We are the land of love and elegance, said Minister of Civility Emilie Bonio. This will ensure we stay true to our heritage. Citizens have embraced the new rule with gusto, resulting in a notable increase in smiling faces and spontaneous friendships. Australia declares war on giant spiders with massive flip-flops. Fed up with their arachnid adversaries, Australians have taken up arms, well, giant flip-flops, to combat the ever-present menace of enormous spiders. Prime Minister Sheila Hogan announced the Thwack and Smack initiative, where citizens are encouraged to wield oversized flip-flops to squash the eight-legged invaders. It's time to reclaim our homes and our sanity, Hogan declared. Flip-flop manufacturers report a surge in sales and spider populations are reportedly in retreat. Thank you guys for being here with me today. I am Miraida Pavon Robles de Jesus Rodriguez para servirle a Dios y a usted. And this was me, I made up. This is Made of News with your host, Miraida Pavón Robles de Jesús Rodríguez.